Hi, 18 Cinema Summary here. In this video, I will tell a crazy case about a psychopath named Anatoly Moskvine. He has a habit of stealing corpses and treating them like humans. This case shocked the world in 2011, and the Russian media gave him the nickname the Lord of the Mummies. Here is information about Anatoly Moskvine. He was a man from 90 Novgorod, Russia, born on September 1, 1966. Anatoly is a philologist and polyglot who mastered 13 languages. Anatoly has also worked as translator for military intelligence, which proves that he is a brilliant person. He even has his own library that contains more than 60,000 books. He also wrote several books, dictionaries, and papers. Sometimes he worked as a journalist for local newspapers. Interesting facts about Anatoly are he never dates, does not smoke or drink alcohol, and is interested in the grave. He called himself a necropolis or a person who was very interested in the grave. Why does he have an interest in the grave? Anatoly himself wrote this story. So, when he was 13 years old, he was walking home from school. On the way home, he met an adult who suddenly dragged him to a coffin. Inside, there was a corpse of an 11-year-old girl. The little girl named Natasha Petrova. These adults were forcing Anatoly to kiss Natasha's forehead. Not only that, Natasha's mother put on a pair of wedding rings for Anatoly and her daughter. At that time, Anatoly admitted that he suddenly had a big interest in the tombs and corpses. Along the time, his obsession with the tomb and the corpse gets bigger. Anatoly admitted that she visited more than 752 graves in Nizhny Novgorod and dug at least 150 graves. Before he went to the graveyard, he usually did detailed research on the corpse, then brought it home for the mummification process. After the process, they are put on shoes, clothes, dresses, and others. Some corpses even had a music box in the chest like a doll. One of the victims of this kidnapping is Olga, who is 10 years old. She died because she was killed in 2002. In the same year, Anatoly stole the body and stored it in his room for 9 years. Olga's mother did not know about it and continued to come to her child's grave without knowing her body was gone. When the case was revealed, Olga's mother was shocked and said, I was with my daughter for 10 years, and he lives with my child's mummy in his room for 9 years. So, you might wonder, how can Anatoly be caught? In 2009, the surrounding residents realized something strange with the tomb there, as if someone had excavated it. The residents were restless and reported it to the police. The police also made a special team containing police officers and special detectives experienced in this field. After two years, there are still no results obtained. In 2011, there was a report that Muslim tombs were damaged. The investigators went to the tomb and found Anatoly, who was painting the bodies. The police felt strange and brought Anatoly to go home. There, the police also examined Anatoly's room. How surprised they were when they discovered that large dolls stored were dolls of 29 girls. The condition of the dolls is different. There were carved bodies, and some were written dates and causes of death. Anatoly's parents had seen the doll but did not expect that the contents were real corpses. They think it's Anatoly's hobby. Finally. Anatoly was arrested. In one of Anatoly's trials, he claimed to kidnap and wrap the corpses with cloth and then put buttons into the corpse's eye cavity. So they could watch cartoons together. Anatoly also admitted that he dug up the grave and stole the girl's corpse because he was lonely. That was caused by Russian adoption agents who disapproved of Anatoly's adoption because he was considered not to make enough money. In addition, he also said that he did this to wait for technology that could revive people who had died. Not only that, 
Anatoly told the victim's parents that he only took them home, warmed them up, and celebrated their birthdays every year. Because of those statements, Anatoly was sentenced to five years in prison. But, after an evaluation by psychiatry, it was decided that Anatoly had paranoid schizophrenia. So in his trial on May 25, 2012, the Nizhny Novgorod court assumed that Anatoly was exempted from his actions. So, what do you think about this story? Let me know your thoughts in the comment down below and see you in the next video.